Hello friends. So again, right where we left off, we still have the mod.info open. I'm gonna close that for a second. I'm also not gonna save it. You should have saved it. I'm not gonna save it because this is just for an example. Um, we're gonna go back to the tiles file. And as you remember, there is a new tile definitions dot tiles uh, file in there. That one is created from the tile editor. If you go to tools and then tile properties, it's gonna open up a whole new menu. The thing you wanna do is, ideally, if, if you have two screens, I suggest opening tile editor twice. You can open this with the other one next to each other so you can compare. You want to press new and create a new file. The name of it, again, doesn't matter. Just name it something that works for you. I'm not going to make a new one. I'm just going to open my one so I have a better view for you guys. These are all the entries for the tiles that I've made. To add a new one, you can just hit the plus icon and well, let's, let's, do a, let's do a fresh one just for uh, bits and giggles. So, no wait, I'm saving it as I should create a new one. Oh, okay, that was, I did the, hit the right thing. So tutorial, hit plus, and I'm gonna hit test, hit okay. And it just imports it. It gives it a, a number, so it just goes up the more stuff you add. It, it's there, it's the unique ID in your tile definitions file. And all of this stuff is uh, as a white background at this point, meaning nothing's happening to it. When you click on a tile, there's a whole bunch of stuff on this side here. And given that you've never worked with this before, I'm gonna guess that this stuff is out of date. And I should provide a link in the comments with an update file from Throttle Kitty to actually update this stuff so we have more entries with, and you can actually give them proper definitions. In here, I'm not gonna explain all this stuff. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things. Most of these are uh, self-explanatory, but what I recommend is, I mean, as you're starting out, the thing you're gonna do is probably copy the use of existing items. You can just open up, I don't need to save this one, the new tile definitions.tiles file, which has all the vanilla tiles right in there with all the information. So if you click on one, let's get something a bit more interesting than uh, I don't know. Sure. A fence should work, or bathroom, door. Doors are interesting, I guess. You're gonna see that some things are darker, meaning it's it's has been changed. All right, you can see. If you add a door, just copy the settings from the door. You can actually just hit Control, uh, you know, C, and then paste them. Just copy and paste them. You cannot do that from one entry to another entry, though. So you, if you open up tile twice, so you can have these side by side on one monitor and then one on the other, you cannot copy from one instance to the other. We have to do it in one. So if you want to copy from a door or a fridge, you have to copy this one or you can select multiple ones, copy those, open up your version and then paste them in there.